Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a finale for the Roulette Pan collab that I have been participating in this spring and it is created by Rebecca and Alexi or Alexandra and they are of course linked down below as always and I'm really excited for this finale. It's bittersweet that it is ending. It was really fun but I don't feel like I have been doing this good or that good in this project this round. Yeah, even though I have rolled in four new products, it has been some easy goals, but yeah, let's just take it from the top. I have one empty and then two goals hit, so three in total. So the empty for this update is my cleanser and this is the Udicram. It is the Super Moisture Cleansing Lotion and it is vegan and cruelty free and everything like that. I really really like this and yes it was like a lotion-y kind of uh, product so it wasn't like a foamy wash or anything like that. My skin only likes these kind of cleansers so I will definitely buy this again at some point. And this was for a skincare item so obviously this is what this was a good fit but yes i'm really really excited to have this done these are my markings so i started here when i put it in the project in like i want to say march of march maybe february i don't remember february maybe i think it yeah i think so so intro first update second update wasn't very good but then last update and now I have finished it and I finished it like a few days ago. I know I'm late with this update and I'm also filming it late. So yeah, that's life right now. But yeah, I'm really excited to have this done because I have been working on it for like a year or something like that. I have reached my goal on the glitter liners. I am so excited. Today was the last day that I was using one of them in this project and I'm really excited about it. So now I'm just going to... Use it here and there. Well, let's see if that happens in the next half year because I am going to declutter them by the end of the year because they are old. And these are the W7 Metal Flash Metallic Glitter Eyeliners. I have it in Glitzy, Indescent and what's the name? Glam Bam. I have used these five times each and I know that is not a lot but you don't wear glitter on a normal basis so this was for a category a product you say for a special occasion and I definitely do that with liners but I have been really trying to just use some glitter here and there and you have maybe noticed in the, some of the videos um, lately but because I have used it a lot in the past few weeks because I really wanted to hit the goal otherwise it will be it would be a little bit embarrassing if I didn't hit it but I did today <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> the last goal that I hit was on a palette that I rolled in last time and it is the W7 Delicious palette and this was for... I didn't write it down because it was only one update. Uh, something you love that everyone ha everybody hates or something like that. And I chose it because it is a dupe slash copy for the Modern Renaissance palette and some people hate this palette but I really like it so um well I think they ha hate the idea that they copied the layout and everything like that the the packaging is not really like it um but yes I had a goal of using every single shade once and I did and I'm pretty excited about it I don't think I have that many pictures of it um I think I only have a few but again it's very neutral this palette and I have I do know a look I have using one more of the pinky shades, otherwise it's just a neutral look, just like I have something like in the crease and something like that, and then a gold and stuff like that. I really like this gold though. This was really, really pretty. It doesn't seem like much in the pan, but it's actually really, really pretty. The product that has been in the product since the beginning is my Neil Shaw Nail Polish in uh, this coal set. It is coal 697. It doesn't have a name, but it is this beautiful shade right here. I had it on my nails for the last week, so I will insert a picture. I really like that many because I used it at Dotted Tool with this red nail polish on it, and 
Yeah, I, I never do that with my nails, so I thought it was really fun. But this is a product out of season. And again, when we rolled this in, it was winter, so it must have been February that we started this project. And coal is definitely not a winter color, so I chose this one. And in three, four months, I have only made this much progress, but I have only used it here and there. I haven't worked on it solely. It has been one of my main polishes, but you don't only need one coat of this, so it goes a little bit slower than you would think or wish. But yes, I'm actually really excited to switch it out and work on something else. Then we have the last two products that we rolled in last time. And the first one is a pastel shade, I believe. And I chose a shade from my W7 Enchanted palette. And I have this in my drawer template for summer as well. That I wanted to use every single shade a few times. Um, but yes, I chose this shade right here. This lavender pastel -y purple color. It's called Tranced and my goal was to use it 10 times. I didn't. I used it like three times. <laughs> so, well, I didn't hit my goal on this one, but I'm really excited to be working on this for a few days <laughs> and then I need to roll it out and that is actually quite sad, but also really exciting at the same time because I'm working on a lot of shadows. Unfortunately, I didn't hit my goal, but I was really happy using it, but the lavender shade was really hard to work on when you are panning something green. Um, and it doesn't really go with that that much. And I forgot it when I was using the purple and pinky shades. So, <laughs> well, three times is more than, it's better than nothing, basically. The last one is a product that lasts forever. And I chose this pot concealer. And a pot concealer for me lasts forever because I have never finished one. So that says a lot. This is the W7 Go Concealer in light. And this is my progress. As you can see, there is a huge dip in it. But it's not, it's not pan. I did switch to using a small brush because it was more precise where I needed. But my skin has been really, really good. So I haven't been using a lot of concealer underneath my foundation. Well, I, have, I tried my best to hit pan and... The easiest way was in the middle with a brush, so yeah, some people find that cheating, but I would never hit pan or anything like that in this project if I didn't change to a brush. And I actually like this concealer more with a brush than my fingers. I, I want to blend it out with my fingers, but applying it, I need a brush, so it's okay. I'm still working on it though, and I will for the entire summer. That was everything for my update and everything for this project. I really enjoyed it and I am so excited to start one again. I don't think I will join the next round just because I'm having a baby, a baby in October and I don't want to start any new projects on top of that. I just started the Once Upon a Pan, but I can work on that from now and until December and not... <sighs> adding a project in like September or something like the next round is going to be but I'm going to watch everyone's videos and I'm really really excited about it so please check out Rebecca and Alexi if you want to see more of this kind of project pan and when they are going to start it and everything like that I hope you guys enjoyed it this video and the series at least and until my next one please have fun and take care and enjoy the amazing weather in Denmark it is really amazing at the moment and so warm, so warm. I'm going to go out and enjoy the sunshine now and I'm really excited about it. So I will stop rambling now and I hope you guys take care until my next video. Bye.